Hello there, here's a basic tutorial on scripting in custom NPCs. I'm using 1.7 which is a very basic uh, custom NPC. Um, it's not quite as uh, robust as 1.8 um, which has the scripted block and a lot more functionality but I would just thought I'd keep it simple here and let me show you how to get started here. First of all this is Nopus's scripting page from his website and the most important thing is you have to have some sort of scripting uh, language engine and for most people use JavaScript and that would be this file right here you have to copy it out of your Java directory right here and you have to put it into your mods directory okay right next to your custom NPC file this is this is actually the 1.10 uh, version of custom NPCs, but it will be the same for all versions. Okay, you want to put that file in there, and then you'll be ready to go. You can use other languages, but that's another story. Um, and this uses the old API Java docs, which is here. Okay, so let's get started here. Um, whoops. Okay, so I have this NPC here, and I've got a few simple little examples in here. Um, you have to use the scripting tool. You click click that, and you should see something in here. Uh, and this is for JavaScript. Enabled, yes. That usually starts at no, so you have to remember to turn that on. Um, and then in here, you will see error messages from any of your uh, scripts that you might run. You can copy or clear them out then. Okay. And, then, and under the scripts tab, uh, you have the different hooks. Um, initialization hook, hook starts uh, whenever you start up a new game or reset the NPC either by clicking on him with one of the two wands um, so anything here would start then update runs continuously every 20 ticks so that's if you want to keep track of something over time or something like that a little more complicated interact it's pretty straightforward when you interact with him he'll say that um, Dialogue is when a dialogue starts. Uh, damage is when he gets damaged. Killed is when he gets killed. Um, attack is when he attacks. And then target, when he targets something, Clyde. When he run, when someone runs into him or he runs into somebody, kills. When he kills something and then the dialogue closes, which is very important. Um, here you can also copy, clear, or paste buttons. Um, so there you go. See, so initializes. I can click on him, and he says, "Let's go." Um, if I get too close, he's going to say, "Get away." Um, and since he's neutral, I can hit him, and he says, "Stop that." Okay. Um, so if I put a dialogue in, I could just put the the dialogue that comes with custom NPCs, the villager dialogue, and you'll see, whoops, too close, get away, uh, click on him and I'll say, tell me something about your village, and then you can see that he says number two down here, and he said number zero, that's because when I click on him, I click the number two uh, option, and then I just click anywhere, and that's zero, that's uh, there's no uh, no option. I mean, no number uh, for that. Um, so if I clicked goodbye, it would say three. Okay, that's um, being run right here. As I said, the dialog close is a very important one. It says NPC say option. Now then, let's look at the API here. Uh, dialog close, and then we have these parameters: world NPC and an option. Those are keywords that you can use there. You can also say player or dialogue and it will give you the dialogue number. Um, world is a prefix for different commands just like NPC say is a command. Uh, there's other um, commands under the world option. Um, and we can sh I'll show you a little example here. Um, Let's go back and take his dialogue out. 
and go to scripting and what uh, you can you can do scripts in any text editor I use notepad plus plus it's got a lot of nice features to it uh, you can use plain notepad or anything else you can use more more advanced editors but uh, notepad if you have your language set to something like JavaScript it will show you your closing brackets which is nice um, and closing uh, parentheses so you you know that you have matching uh, brackets so you're not missing one so all lines in JavaScript end in semicolons um, so let's just go here and you can see if I click on him now then so he says this first line is a big long line that's the scripted player identification for me as and that's my name and that's my name also so you see I had it just player and it shows the identification if I say player dot name is the same as player dot get name okay that's a little shortcut you can use um, so if you want to uh, get a little more complicated uh, this here I've got this little if statement this is a, a programming logic if you hopefully uh, you have some but if you don't that's fine too you can uh, you can pick it up I've got some websites to show you here in a second um, so if something then he will say this else if something else he will say this so um, world dot is day he's this is either gonna be true or true or false I could say equal to true like I say equal to false here you don't have to uh, my mouse is getting low um, but um, so let's, let's put this in the interact tab and copy here paste and then so that is right here you see I, I clicked on the world script world um, category and about halfway down here is day and that says is day that's going to be true or false variable and tells whether it's day or not okay same way with is raining you can set the world as raining too or things like that you can do all sorts of things so this if this is true it's going to say day if it, if it's false it's going to say night pretty basic so it says it's night so if I switch it to day then he's going to say it's day so that's basically how you do scripting um, the hard, so the hard part is trying to figure out uh, this uh, API docs here and all the different commands um, different things go together differently sometimes um, so it does take a little bit of uh, work to figure this out. I do have some other examples, scripts that are fairly simple that you can look at, and that's sometimes the best way to learn by example. Um, there are two good Java websites, this one here, and also the W3 School has lots and lots of tutorials and examples, and even um, there are examples here where you can actually run code and try out stuff so in uh, kind of like a very simple confined area so you can you can figure out how the different functions of JavaScript work um, I'm also going to try to do a uh, tutorial on the newer script scripting format which started in 1.89 uh, I'll probably do it in 1.10 version which is working very nicely at this point um, but it varies quite a bit from this um, format here. So if you have any questions or comments, uh, and uh, maybe you could leave a like if you enjoyed this, or tell me how, how I could do better uh, tutorial. Um, thanks for watching. See ya.